Hello friends. In the last videos, we have been discussing mental focus. Now you will see that there are broadly two kinds of shooters. And the way they walk into the range, you can make out who is the top shooter. Normal shooters and ordinary shooters, you will see from their body language that they will always come in a group or with friends and you know they are talking, they are busy talking and looking around here and there while they are approaching the shooting range. And when they enter the shooting range also, you can make out from their body language that there is no mental focus in these people because they are more interested in coming to the shooting range for socializing. You know, the highs and the hellos and what were you doing yesterday and I called you up and this is the movie I saw. Now you compare that with a top class shooter. I have seen many of them. When they come on the range, first of all, you will they will not waste time chit-chatting, looking here and there. They have a goal very clear in their mind. They know exactly what they are going to do and how long it is going to take them to achieve the training goal or whatever goal they have set for themselves for that day or for that session. And you will find them, they will occupy the lane and then they will walk off and start their routine. And they are 100% focused on their physical warming up, on their technical warming up and their mental warming up. And if you watch them, they are somewhere on the side of the range, completely on their own. They don't like to make eye contact with any shooter, however close they might be. Or even if they have to, with a jury official or a, a range officer or, uh, or a coach, they do so and switch off immediately and come back to concentrate on their warming up. Compare this with the other shooters. They may be warming up, they might be doing it in a group. And, and their eyes are floating everywhere. Now, if you walk into the shooting range, you need to have your mental focus, not only the moment you walk into the shooting range, but from the time you leave your house or during competition time when you leave your hotel room, you are totally focused, mentally focused, and you know exactly what you want to do. So even before you step into the shooting range, you are mentally focused. When you enter the shooting range, you have a series of activities which you are going to focus on mentally 100% till the time you come and occupy the firing point. Once you have done all your warming up, your technical, physical and mental warming up and you occupy the firing point, the only focus that you should have the only thought that you should be thinking of in your mind is what you are going to do when the sights come into the aiming area. So your focus is now completely centered on what you are going to do when the sights come into the aiming area and this is the mental focus which is required. When you go in any shooting range, when there is no competition or even in during competition time, you can make out a top level shooter straight away through the body language. The one who is focused, whose mind is just focused on one thing which is what she or he is going to do when the sights come into the aiming area, his or her body language is so different because he or she is completely switched off from the world around them. This is the mental focus that is required when you come into the shooting range and these are the thoughts that you should be thinking just on what you are going to do when the sights come into the aiming area. And your entire activity, the moment you step into the range, till you reach the firing point and till you pick up the pistol to take your first shot, your entire process or warming up is to achieve a 10 in the very first shot that you shoot. And not only the first shot, but in a series you should shoot 
as many trends as possible. And that will show whether you are mentally focused or not. I request all these shooters who aspire to become international shooters to take up their diary and write down what is the goal for the training session for that day. Get into the habit of setting your training goal for each and every session. And after your session is over, take your diary and write down the points which you have learnt and the points which you need to improve in the next session. This will help you to improve your mental focus when you step on the shooting range. Thank you.